Corrupt Intervention and Lethal Pursuer. An absolutely disgusting, good, fun, powerful perk combination. Now what do these perks do? Well, Corrupt Intervention is a really good perk. It blocks the three generators furthest away from where you spawn for two minutes straight, which is extremely good. The problem with this perk though is a lot of the times you're not able to find somebody. So sometimes this perk will not be nearly as useful as it should be. But in comes Lethal Pursuer. When you spawn in for the first nine seconds of every game, you can see all four survivors. This gives you an absolutely disgusting early game because you can immediately start chasing someone, down them, and start pressure right from the start, giving survivors no chance to really combat it. And when you combine both of these perks together, well, I think I'll just show you. Yes. Yes. Alright, let's do this. So I see this guy spawn right here, and the nearest generators to him are blocked by Corrupt Intervention. So, worst case scenario, he runs around until he finds another generator, which wastes time. Best case scenario, he just stalks around and does nothing. Long story short, I don't even need to worry about this guy. So I start up my chainsaw because I know they had to spawn somewhere, and I see that there are three people that spawned in this area. There's no generator for them to work on, so they're walking around in the open, which definitely helps and it gives me the opportunity to do this. And just like that, I have it down. I can start pressuring other people because I know there's two other people nearby because of Lethal Pursuer and Infectious Riot, which you don't need with this build. But with that combination, I can start pressuring other people. I can start getting injuries, more downs. I can get hooks and they have literally no time to do generators. They literally are on the back foot from the very start of the game. 10 seconds in, they're already being pushed. And this is the power of this build. It's such an aggressive early game oriented build that by the time you get to the point where you would normally need slowdown perks, you don't need those perks anymore. But this is once again a high mobility killer starting out. This killer starts out with very high mobility. So let's see how well it works with low mobility killers. All right, let's get in there. Three people spawned over here, one person spawned over there. He's not gonna be able to find a generator for a while. This person's literally running into me. And literally, I have already started the snowball. All right, so on this game, I can see immediately one person spawned over in the corner and they fell down into the basement, and guess what? There's no generators nearby for them to work on because of corrupt, so I don't even have to worry about that guy being useful for a while. I see these three people over here in the corner. Two of them are running back to where all the generators are blocked by corrupt, so once again, I don't need to worry about them, and the one person is literally running in my general direction. In a normal situation, I wouldn't have seen them and they would have hid, but with both of these perks, I'm able to identify where they are, identify that the rest of the team is currently not pushing generators out and threatening the game, and I can immediately get the first hit. Now, when you get the first hit as Oni, you start snowballing because you get blood, you start getting your power, you start getting more downs, more injuries, more blood. So me being able to consistently get my first hit this quickly, and I mean consistently, is so freaking huge. This perk combo is amazing. And if you're tired of running the same old slowdown perks and you're tired of two gens popping in the first minute and a half of every game, just run these two perks and you'll have such a fantastic time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for all the subs recently. I love every single one of you and have a good one.